Genesis chapter 9, verse 6. Whoso sheddest man blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of Yahweh made he man. First and foremost, I want to give our praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kakadash, Debon, to the Pops and the Elders, has spread the truth out of the four corners earth. I'm here with an academy lesson. Let's get it. We killed a lot of n****s, though. It's not here no more. The hood, dry, bro. Everybody getting shot. Mom, dad, sisters, brothers. Yeah. We proving a point. 25-year-old Abdul Vix, more popularly known as his rap name, YBC Duel, was infamously known as the ringleader of the Philadelphia's Young Bag Chasers Collective. He was known on the streets as Mr. Disrespectful due to his ruthless living on the streets and his distasteful rap lyrics mocking the dead. Mr. Disrespectful, I'm gonna who you is, I will disrespect you. YBC was devoted to getting money in the streets, however, the gang quickly became embroiled in a pattern of violence and murder, leading to 19 of the 31 most prominent YBC members either being incarcerated or dead. The new name is You've Been Charged. On May 29, 2019, Joshua Munson, also known as YBC Josh, was gunned down in broad daylight as he walked down the street near his home in West Philly. The gunman was never caught or identified, however, the YBC boys wanted justice. I was right here. Josh was supposed to come meet me. All I'm hearing is gunshots. Boom, boom, boom. Bro, Josh, bro. I just broke down crying. Ten months later, in March of 2020, they struck back, gunning down 19-year-old Nyphaic Hawkins, a.k.a. Buddy, while he was playing basketball. Nobody on the scene was willing to give police a description of the shooter, but in many of YBC Duel's songs, he constantly disrespects the passing of Buddy. I'm smoking Buddy off the mouth. Pound, he hit right. Days later, two YBC members were involved in a shootout and hit a man from 39th Street named Sid, or Fro. He survived the gunfire, but because of the street's strict no-snitching policy, Fro didn't turn to the authorities for help, but instead sought street justice. Months later, Fro claimed to be responsible for the late-night murder of a bike-riding YBC member named BL. A 15-year-old named Jaquan Williams, aka Q Ra, was walking to the store when two suspects ran up and shot him in the head, execution style. YBC claimed this killing by mocking him throughout their songs, calling him Q Rizzy instead of his name. February 24th, we smoke Q Rizzy out the pan. Despite Q Ra's killing, YBC Duel and the rest of the gang still wanted to get back Fro himself. Months later, the members had tracked him down and fired eight shots into his family home, striking him and his father. His dad would survive, but 39th Street Sid wasn't so lucky. Duel didn't hold back any punches, routinely mocking Fro in his lyrics. Three pounds of the fro, I sell it whole or break it down. YBC's reign of violence over Philadelphia didn't end with Sydney's murder, and instead, four more teenagers were murdered in less than a year, starting with 18-year-old Nasir Marks and Kanye Pittman. Duel repeatedly mocked Pittman's death, calling him Young Bull from the back block. Two months later, 16-year-old Kaylin Johnson, known as K3, and 18-year-old Tommy Frazier, aka Snipe, were murdered on their way to play basketball. Snipe is another deceased teen that Duel can be heard mocking throughout his lyrics. In August of 2024, YBC Curry was found guilty of murdering the three teenagers, Bro, Snipe, and K3. In 2021 alone, YBC proudly claimed responsibility for over eight murders, leading the city of Philadelphia to hate them. We f the hood up. It ain't no more dice games. It ain't no block you could go on down here and people outside. We the blocks up. In the years following, YBC would fall apart, with multiple members either falling to murder or arrests, leaving only YBC Duel as one of the last survivors of the war. However, he took his disrespectful ways too far when he revisited the grave of Q Ra while filming a diss track. While there, he began digging up Q's grave, dissing him. Then in 2024, Duel released a new diss track with Lil Scoom 89 and Bloody Hound Lil Jet titled Long Live Jeffrey Dahmer, where the trio raps about killing their Ops. Near the end of the track, Duel raps a bar that would foreshadow the fate of all three. All three rappers would pass away in 2024, back to back to back, after the track's release. First, Lil Jeff was gunned down in June, then Lil Scoom in July, and finally, in early August, while Duel was riding in an SUV with several friends, a white Hyundai pulled up beside him at the light and opened fire, hitting and killing Duel. In the aftermath of the shooting, Mr. Disrespectful's dad took to social media to say he doesn't believe his son's actions are what got him killed, but rather that it was a setup, mentioning that his son 
had seen word cars passing him in the streets, something he also brought up in his last interview. Every time somebody been seeing me, bro, they been rolling their windows up. The Hyundai used in Duel's murder was found by police burning in a vacant parking lot. At this time, no arrests have been made for Abdul Vic's murder, and there are no suspects or leads. The streets he claimed to have made so quiet with his murders are sure to remain silent about his death. Joe 4 and 8. Even as I have seen, they that have plowed iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. So you reap what you sow. You make that bed, you're going to have to lay up in it. And little buddy wasn't innocent, obviously. Romans 3 and 13 and down. Their throat is an open sepulcher with their tongues that have used deceit. The poison of offs is under their lips like they speak in venomous, poisonous words, you know. Whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. And the way of peace have they not known. They don't know about the young bad chasers. They don't, they don't know about peace. They have, the Heavenly Father. There is no fear of Yahweh before their eyes. And that's what's going on with this society of the young crash outs. You know what I'm saying? These young... Young boys are going crazy. They kill and murder for fun. You know, all that they talking about, they kill you, then they put you in the song, somebody they smoking on you. So, and I read that, anal that analogy. Uh, his uh, dad posted on Facebook, and the dad basically, like, he was condoning his son's killing, and he's trying to act like, oh, my son, he was got set up. The whole time your son is a murderer, you know what I'm saying? So, therefore, his father is wicked, too. You know what I'm saying? So... I just thought that was a little interesting little segment, man, because that's what's coming. That's, you know, that's two thirds of our people, man. These little rappers, these little crash out, man, they're going to die soon, man. And I don't feel sorry. I don't feel innocent because whoever perish, whoever perish being innocent. So I'm going to uh, give our praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kakadash, Delbon, Sudapas, and Elders, Hashem, and the truth out of four corners earth. I'm here with another Can Be Lesson. Shalom.